Biophysics and biochemistry both deal with processes that happen in biological systems. Biophysics is uh, more concentrated on the physical phenomena and it can be experimental or computational and so for example it can deal anything from medical imaging to uh, understanding uh, processes that happen in the cells, how cells move and, and stuff like that uh, all the way to the description at the atomic level either experimentally or computationally and that's kind of where we uh, come in computational biochemistry is interested not only uh, in uh, in biological systems as well from the standpoint of the rea the chemical reactions that happen in biology and uh, how these af uh, affect or govern biological systems so there's a direct relationship between the two um, subfields or subdisciplines and that's kind of where we straddle both of them because we're interested in chemical reactions in biological systems using computational simulations at the atomic level. Our research uh, deals with computational biophysics and computational biochemistry. So um, that means that we use high performance computers or high performance computing equipment, HPC uh, resources, both at UTD and in other places like TAC and uh, San Diego Supercomputing Center, et cetera, uh, via NSF, so that uh, we can investigate biological systems using the laws of physics in terms of software. So we write uh, some code and we contribute to other code from uh, other groups and uh, many, many groups. Um, and we use these codes to investigate in our particular um, case systems that deal with uh, DNA transactions. So for example, how DNA gets copied, how this copying gets started, um, when there are mutations, how these mutations affect uh, stuff that has to do with DNA and their impact on human health. The field um, has had a major impact in several different areas. For example, drug discovery, um, a fundamental understanding of biological processes, uh, uh, and a bunch of other stuff. In terms of um, human health, for example, um, some of our research has uh, yielded, for example, new cancer mutations and how they affect uh, the actual process that the protein is the, that has that mutation is involved with and we uh, have experimental colleagues who have confirmed our computational predictions and so um, we're hoping to make uh, further inroads in that area with respect to cancer and uh, hopefully other diseases as we progress. We developed a computational approach where we get cancer databases and mine them to uh, find mutations that, have been, uh, that haven't been reported before, and then we investigate what they do and uh, collaborate with uh, experimental researchers to either validate uh, or confirm our findings. Um, we also have uh, other research projects related, for example, to drug development. So we use our computational tools to help find new drugs or better drugs. We're collaborating with uh, several groups at MD Anderson and uh, UT Austin in the School of Pharmacy and uh, the School of Engineering to develop a, a new cancer drug. And um, we're also collaborating with another group at uh, UNT Health Science Center, so the med school at UNT. We're also collaborating with groups all over the world, for example, in Mexico or in the UK, uh, in Canada, in France. Um, our collaboration uh, in the UK is uh, um, very fundamental uh, biochemical uh, processes about how, when DNA needs to be copied, how it gets uh, how it gets started, um, and so uh, that has been a very exciting collaboration.